Alright, we just got off the water. Came home, got cleaned up. A little hungry, we got family town, so I'm gonna make a pot of slap your mama jambalaya. I'm gonna show you how to do a real easy recipe. Um, so good it'll make you wanna slap your mama. Got a pound of shrimp, got a pound of Koneka smoked sausage. Um, you can use, uh, if you want a little spicier, you can use andouille. I got a pound of boneless chicken breast, again, rice, a couple of white onions, green onion, celery, a little vegetable oil, uh, thyme, bay leaves, ground oregano, and two cans of fire roasted tomatoes, chicken broth, slap your mama, Cajun season. Tony Satchers will work too, but I like uh, I like Slappy Mama. Again, last time we put alligator in it, but uh, this time I went and got a pound of shrimp, and I'm gonna yeah, your mama. I'm gonna peel those while the uh, while the rice is cooking. All right, so we'll start cutting up some some of these meat items, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I cut up the uh, chicken and the sausage, put them in the uh, put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm using a uh, cast iron is good. I'm using a main light, so a pot about that size. I uh, cut them up about an inch a piece, one pound each. Put that in there, brown them for about 10 to 12 minutes, and then got them out with a uh, slotted spatula because uh, I want to save the good drippings in there. All right, so now I'm going to put in two pounds of white onions that I diced. I'm going to put in a pound of celery that I diced, and I've got a, a um, teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of thyme, I've got a tablespoon of the Fluffy Mama Creole seasoning, I've got two bay leaves, and put that in there. Alright, it calls for garlic, this is the garlic I use, I just like it, and I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to put in almost the whole... All right, so about almost the whole jar there. All right, I'm gonna stir all this around. It's already starting to smell really good. I'm gonna stir all this around these drippings for about five to seven minutes because the vegetables start getting soft. And then I'm gonna put in the rest of the uh, ingredients and, I'm, and then it should be uh, ready to cook. So that'll start to smell really good. All right, so about five to seven minutes, and I'll be ready to go. Uh, at that point, I'm gonna put in two cups of white rice, uncooked white rice. And I'm going to uh, let that cook about for three minutes. So five minutes, five to seven minutes with this, um, and then the the rice for another three minutes, and then I'll be back. Be back after that. All right, I let the rice cook about three minutes. Now I'm going to put in the tomatoes. I'm going to put in three cups. A chicken broth. That was two cups. So I've got to get another cup. All right. So that's going to be that's going to be three right there. All right. Now I'm going to oh, I'm going to put in the the meat that I taken out earlier. Now I'm not putting in the shrimp. Oops, I lost some. I'm not putting in the uh, shrimp just yet because they cook really quick. So I'm not going to put them there until the five minutes before this is done. So. I've got all this in there. I'm going to bring it to a boil on high. Once I bring it to a boil, I'm going to lower it to low to simmer, and I'm going to simmer it for 20 minutes, and that'll cook the that'll cook the rice. Five minutes before it's done, so 15 minutes into the simmer, I'm going to put the shrimp in and give them five minutes to to cook. So this is me. Got my Tennessee apron, go balls, and I will show you all the finished project in 20 minutes. All right, the moment of truth. It's been an extra 20 minutes. Ooh, steam's getting to my phone. Look at that. All right, you can see the shrimp, nice and pink. I bought a pound of it, and I cut it in half to make it go a little bit further in the jambalaya. Uh, it's been in there for five minutes, and it's already cooked. Our right, last thing I'm going to do, it's just for, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in a little uh, green onion just for a topping, and it's done. Easy recipe, great recipe. 
Um, it, it'll feed almost an army, so if you got family coming in town, um, it'll feed it. And you saw the, the amount of ingredients, not really that much. So um, enjoy. If you want the recipe, uh, message me, I'll send it to you. And cooking with Zach.